extremely special dog to me. Therefore, my life has never been the same. Ace really was an incredible dog, and I just really never thought that it would end like this. You know, it was a mistake, and, and, and you know, human beings like, make mistakes, and like, I can't like forgive myself. <laughs> Ace was absolutely a super pit bull. I mean, he was the most amazing trained dog that I'd ever seen in my life. I birthed Ace. He was always one of my favorites, just based on his looks. From day one, I mean, the, you know, Ace always showed himself from day one. From the beginning, he stood out like a shining star. Here! Here! Good. All he wanted to do was bite, and he'd be latched onto your leg, your pant leg, and he was crazy. He was right up until the end. He's a good, balanced dog doesn't fear people. I mean, he's perfectly fine, he's perfectly friendly, he's not barking at you. First time I met Ace, the honest story on first time I met Ace. The first time I met Ace and hung out with him, I got bit in my arm, pretty fun. People have felt like this guy let the dog, well, he, I don't know what was happening, but he was like, oh, I'm gonna light the dog up in you for a second. And he was like, oh, I'm gonna stick my arm in his, in his mouth. Uh, yeah, he, he got bit, he got bit by, by, uh, by Ace. I'm still this day, you know, I can't feel my arm. Overall, who he was is something that just, just will never be found ever again. The morning of the incident, um, it seemed everything was like a normal day at the DDK9 house. I was sitting there eating breakfast and then I started hearing something. So I told Marlon and Lisa, you know, I kind of hear something in the backyard. I don't know what's going on. I called the dogs. The dogs aren't responding. So Marlon ran outside, and then Lisa followed him. It was just the worst possible situation you could ever put it in. Three male dogs and one female dog coming out of heat. He realized that he had let out Kong at Netflix with Ace. And, um... All I could see in the backyard was just Ace's foot. They didn't do anything wrong. Like, and they were just reacting as animals would react in the situation. And it was my fault for allowing them to be in that situation. I failed them. After we washed Ace off, uh, Marlon and Lisa took Ace straight to the vet, and when they came back, they said he pretty much just needed rest, and he was kind of in a little bit of shock, and everything would be okay. Took him into this vet, and like all of a sudden, it was just like this panic scene. Like he's going into cardiac arrest, and. Um... There's nothing that can be done, and I just held him. I just held his face. And I told him I loved him. And I just held him until he, until he stopped. So it just, just was horrible. I'll keep that memory to myself. Do you still feel like a, some guilt about it? I mean, of course, I don't know. I mean, it was my fault. Like, how would I not? Um, I know for a fact it hit Marlon pretty hard. Um, I know he did definitely, he's not the same now. He did definitely change. It was like, you know, me and a dog body. And, uh, My whole world is upside down.
I found a place online, it's called Dog Mountain. Um, we've never been there before, but I've heard about it a few times and it seems like a really nice place. Um, they have a really nice chapel there that people can go and put up um, pictures of their lost pets and I thought it would be nice to take the kids there and put up a picture of Ace. Me dog, I am moving rain You saw the sky moving rain? Yeah. Uh-oh. It's still really hard for Marlon to, um, to really talk about it or even say his name, but I think it's important that you know, the kids are part of something to say goodbye to him since they weren't there. It'd be really nice to kind of bring the kids there and say goodbye to him as a family. The Dog Chapel is a very special place where people can come and leave memorabilia of their dog um, in the form of a note or a uh, photograph. Jordan, where do you think? Where's a good spot? <laughs> My favorite memories of Ace is it's just anytime he really got like good credit, it was like people like thought he was old. I'm gonna send the dog, come out of the car with your hands up, sir. <laughs> okay, the dog's gonna have to get you out, come on, Ace. Tack him, Ace! Like half the time in the, the video of him jumping in the car, we like think it's old. Okay, let's give him a break. Here, Ace! Out here! Good boy, here! To me! Good. Here! We like Maya at home. I like mm. Maya at home too. He struck fear in a lot of people too, you know? So I think that the, to them, he didn't seem as like cuddly, you know, I guess, but he the sweetest dog like ever. Beautiful here, it's just a uh, pretty heavy energy. My dog passed away, I just wanted to be around some live dog energy. Yeah, going to the dog chapel was, it was, it was pretty powerful, you know, to be a, the, you know, the type of person I am, you know, dog person, animal person. I felt like as soon as I opened that doorway, all of these people's dogs just were like surging through my whole body, yo. Just reading all these things that people had written and just like dome of sadness. But at the same time, like people's forever love just was a very strange experience. It's overwhelming to see all the notes and pictures like it's everywhere back to the basics, back to what brought me world fame, you know, which is my love and passion for dogs and dog training. So that's what I feel like the world did to me. Here we are, day three with Ace. So I'm just gonna show you again how amazing this dog is. I'll remember him so many different ways that he's a living legend. This is Ace, meet the super dog. Super baby, baby of Dark Dynasty Canines, my boy. I'm gonna put him inside now. He's done well today. Yeah, I'm, you know I'm gonna get him tattooed soon, ASAP. He'll just will never ever be forgotten.
Oh, you want to come up? All the way up. You come up. Oh. 